And that breaking news is in Flint tonight where a federal judge is granting preliminary approval of the proposed $641 million settlement in the water crisis lawsuit. The deal is coming more than seven years after the city first switched its water source to the Flint River and it could resolve dozens of civil suits related to the crisis. So where's the money coming from? Well, when the settlement was first announced back in August, Michigan would contribute uh, $600 million. McLaren Regional Medical Center would contribute 20 million. Rogue Professional Services Company would provide $1.25 million and Flint agreed to add 20 million. Plaintiffs include thousands of children, adults, property owners and business owners who all allege they were exposed to lead, Legionella, and other contaminants from Flint's municipal water supply. Now, all that said, how are the residents reacting to this latest development? Mid Michigan Downs' Bria Jones is live in Flint for us tonight with the answer to that question. Bria, good evening. Good evening, Mike Nell. Despite this preliminary approval from Judge Judith Levy, many residents continue to call this settlement a slap in the face. Now, their biggest complaint is that this proposed $641 million settlement leaves adults without proper compensation for their pain endured from the lead-tainted water. Now, right now, the settlement allocates nearly 80 percent of the money to children, with the bulk of the money going to children who were six and under at the time of the crisis. Flint Councilman Eric Mays and water warrior Claudia Perkins Milton, who were in Ann Arbor last week protesting the settlement, say they will continue to speak up for adults to the next hearing in July. I think she hears us, but I think she's leaning toward final approval. I think we really got to have a big showing of about six, seven, eight thousand people or more in order for her to really listen. And the settlement is certainly not enough. When you think about the Larry Nasser atrocity where the girls were molested, 330 people got 500 million. Now you're talking about a city, a whole city of 80 to 100,000 people, and you're only going to give them 600 million? No residents have until March 29th to opt into the settlement. No coming up at six. Hear from a lead attorney in the case as he weighs in on the fairness of the settlement. For now, reporting live in Flint, Bria Jones, Mid Michigan Now. All right, Bria, thanks for the live report there. Now, those eligible children, adults, property owners, and business owners who allege they were impacted here will have 60 days to register to participate. Uh, in the settlement. Residents can start registering right now, but the website uh, won't go active until next Wednesday. That's January 27th. Now, after that period, registered Flint residents will have uh, 120 days to file the documents necessary to support their claims. Hearings are expected to begin in July. For a closer look at all this information, you can head to our website, midmichigannow.com. Just search Flint Water Settlement.